Hello, this is the Badger. Today we will learn how to take care of roly polies because nobody has pet roly polies and so I need to give you some information on the roly polies. As you can see, that is a snail, but the snail is for another time. One, you need a cup like this. This little deli cup will do. It's perfect. You can go bigger. You can do a glass jar. You can do a full-blown terrarium. You can do a those little hermit crab tanks that you get at the pet store. You can do those. But you can... But this is perfect. It's just perfect. Two, you need to have dirt in a roly police enclosure. No matter what. If you do not have dirt in here, then you are the worst person ever, and I'm going to call the police on you because you should have you should have dirt in here. If you, an empty glass jar with nothing else in it is not going to work. You need to have some kind of dirt or soil or substrate of some kind in it, and you have to keep that, yes, because they have to have their gills moist and they like to hide in the shade. So if they want to, they can just dig, burrow in the dirt. Three, you need to have some grass and some leaves. Because they eat rotten leaves and things like that. So when the leaves go rotten or they can just eat it while it's fresh, you can have them in there. So make sure you have leaves in there. Or I'm calling 911 again because you should have grass. Four, you also need to have a lid on this jar. You need to have a lid on this cup because until now, I haven't known till now, roly polies can climb glass. So if you just leave it in a jar with no lid, you'll wake up the next day and you'll find the roly polies are gone and you might accidentally step on a roly poly in your house. So you need to have a lid on here. Don't just know. Don't just let it sit out like this unless you want your roly polies to escape. The next step, five step, you need to have the environment moist. You can mist, spray the place, you can spray the enclosure, or if you do not have a spray bottle, you can put some ice cubes in there and let it just sit. And it will melt down and it will make their environment moist. I did that because I currently don't have a spray bottle. Six. Six step. You need to have like. You have to have this in a dark place. They wouldn't want to have it out in the sun all the time. But they like to be in dark places. Because when I found them under a rock. Which is. In my garden, which is their natural place, they like to be somewhere dark. So, have them somewhere dark. The only reason they have them out in the sun is so that I can make this video. But, it's best that they're somewhere that's not too bright. And that was how to take care of roly polies. Oh, and if you're going to hold them... I recommend you have wet hands because they're, they breathe through gills and you don't want their gills to dry up and if their gills dry up, they're going to die. So if you're going to hold them, have wet hands. But that was our tutorial on how to take care of...